Good morning to everybody. Um, we are here to present one of our partners, that is uh, CMZ, and uh, we would like to introduce uh, the new machine that just came out this year. And uh, yeah, we have I know other like places that we presented their technology and the new machine. And after that, we can see the we will see uh, how to run this machine with a spring. Uh, this machine has a particular feature. And um, Matthew Chevro, one of our application engineer, will show us uh, uh, the best way to uh, use this machine and to virtualize the programming process through a spring. So uh, I want to introduce uh, Ainoa. Ainoa, could you introduce yourself and explain uh, to the folks uh, what you're doing in CMZ? Yeah, so I'm uh, Ainoa de la Iglesia. I'm the Applications Director here in, in CMZ. So I'm uh, involved in all the special projects such as uh, special machining applications, all the, all the spread uh, projects for processors, uh, turn keys and all that so it's a department that it's more uh, likely to to do the things that the customer will do because we want to understand what the customer needs are and we we want to help them and then uh, if you don't know cmz uh, cmz is a spanish uh, late manufacturer we are based in the in the basque region in the basque country in the north of spain uh, we only mas uh, we only manufacture lathes, so we are very very specialized. But we have a, a broad range of of lathes. So we start from the from the short bed lengths, starting for 400, for example, in the TA series, and getting to to the longest bed that it's three meters to 100 in the in the longest TD series. We have also some uh, multi turret machines from several years that were the TX machine. And, and then our latest arrival is the, the TTL that we are going to talk about uh, today. Yes, exactly. We know that it's a new product, uh, just arrived on the market a few months ago, and uh, mm -hmm. you wasn't able to present it at the trade show because of lockdown. So could you tell exactly. us something more about the TTL? Yes, of course I can. So as I said, the the TTL is our latest arrival, our our late range. It's a it's a multi turret machine, and uh, we are aiming uh, high production markets that uh, are uh, difficult to to get to, but with the with the functionalities that the the machine can offer, and I will explain later on. We think that uh, we complete our our range of uh, multi turret machines. And we are gonna push uh, hard to to get this machine into into Europe, and if we can, out of Europe as well. <laughs> so I know that is uh, that you produce uh, multi tire machines uh, since a while, but behind the TTL there are new concepts. Uh, so could you tell us uh, what make uh, let me see the difference uh, between the previous series uh, and new one, and also compared to your competitors? Yeah. So our our um, the, let's say our uh, marketing uh, point of view is that uh, the TTL is a, a lathe that has uh, some functionalities and some specification that makes it special not only compared to our previous machine but also what the what the market is offering. So we think it's a it's a very very powerful machine, but not not only because of its specifications, but also also because of the things that the machine is able to to do. Um, so there is new things that you can do with this machine. What are the strengths of this machine? Yeah. So compared to the previous version. Exactly. So I'm gonna explain the the specification first so that you understand what the machine is and then later on i will move to the functionalities to to see what the machine can do so in terms okay. of uh, yeah in terms of specification the the first thing is that the, the machine has no belts whatsoever and uh, it, it's compo composed by eight integrated spindles if you if if any of you knew the the tx machine it was a machine that had bells, but we have seen that the bells are a point, uh, a weak point in maintenance 
So we have get uh, rid of them and we have uh, moved to complete integrated spindles in in all the access because it think it's it's better for for the life of the machine and it's also better for for uh, precision and so on because they don't get damaged so in the life of the machine the 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 precision is is going to keep the same so that would be the first uh, interesting point in terms of, uh, of specifications. Then the second point would be our our turret. So the interface is the same as a as a TX machine. So the tool holders could be used here too. But the good thing here, and I think uh, it's a very very powerful competitive advantage, is that we have 12,000 RPM. 14 kilowatts and 42 newton meter torque in the in the turret. Is the turret completely cooled with with oil? It's composed by a carbic coupling that makes uh, the turret uh, very good in terms of stability and precision. It has a, a, a motor to to index the turret, so the indexing time is really short. It it turns 30 degrees in in 170 milliseconds. And it also has an integrated spindle for, for this uh, high speed uh, milling application. And again, it's, it's completely cool with oil. And the good thing too, is that we have uh, 12 live stations, but we have 24 uh, static positions in the turret. So it gives you a lot of possibilities instead of in terms of tooling to your, your process. And the third point in terms of specification is that we have changed from uh, asynchronous motors that we, we offer in, in our other range of machines to synchronous motors. So what the, what's the main advantage of this synchronous motor? Is that the acceleration is reduced by half. So if you see in this little animation, our acceleration time in the TTL 65 series is uh, 1.73 seconds to get to 4,000 RPM, whereas the competition is almost double. So it's, it's a very good uh, competitive advantage because it's we, can get, to, we well, can get really high speeds in like in, in a blink. Apart from the acceleration time, uh, we have how, high power and torque specifications, so which is 35.5 kilowatts and 205 newton meter spindle. Uh, it has permanent magnets, that's because it's a synchronous motor, so that means that we have no intensity circulating in the spindle, so it's very good uh, because the spindle is, keep, uh, is kept cool. Again, the bearings are cool with oil that we do in, in the turret, so it's very good for, for thermal stabilities. And the last benefit in terms of uh, these motors or the design of the, of the spindle is that we use roller bearings. What's the benefit of the roller bearing is that it's very robust in case you ever have a, a collision against the spindle and it's very good to damp a vibration. So the vibrations are reduced with the design of, of this motor. So in general terms, these, are, these would be the main advantages of, of the TTL that makes it a very, very strong machine. Yeah, technically you did a lot of improvement, I still. Uh, but I, I was in your headquarter a few months ago and uh, saw your machine. And there are really a lot of access and uh, you studied a uh, you know, few functionality to use these uh, two-channel machines, a uh, three-channel and a few other okay. things. So could you explain us, let me say, the functionality that we develop also in S3 to use it in a, in a correct way? Of course. Yeah, so what you are talking about are the, the new functionalities that the machine can offer. And the main advantage of this machine is you can see in the picture that we have two turrets, two physical turrets, but we also have a sub spindle that is not only moving in set, but also in X direction. That means that we have an extra axis of a, a degree of, of a movement that will allow us to do three very important things that are ha having a taste stock in the sub spindle what we call superimpose and reduction in interferences. So I will explain each of them uh, individually. So the first uh, advantage of having this uh, movable sub spindle is that we can mount a tailstock over the, over the sub spindle. And with that, what we can do is we can engage the tailstock uh, in the part that is in the main spindle 
and at the same time we can uh, be machining with the with the lower turret in the sub spin that, that would make us give uh, get a uh, smaller cycle times the having a taste stop can also allow us to to machine longer parts because we could normally machine it with a taste stock, but we can also have balance cutting plus taste stock that would allow us to make really long parts with in this machine. Even if you think it as a small machine, it it broadens the the range of parts that can be done due to due to this accessory. So it's a very very good uh, advantage that we put in the machine. Yeah, the second one. Space. The second one is the what we call superimpose or compound machining and Mati is going to show you some videos later because I think it's the, it's the most difficult to understand. Uh, so the superimpose is the fact that we can work with three turrets, simul three tools simul simultaneously even if we have only two, two turrets. Why is that? We can mount two tools in one turret and the sub spindle will follow the movement of the tool that is working to the main. Why is that? Because the, the master channel is combined to the movement of the sub spindle. So the trajectories would be completely separated and you would be able to machine as if you had uh, three turrets. So Spirit has been able to, to implement this in the, in the CAM software and it's, it's been very helpful to us to, to program that because otherwise it would be a little bit complicated for customers to understand this this concept and the third and last one and the third and last advantage of, of having this uh, sub spin that moves up and down is the fact that we can uh, reduce interferences why is that because if you look at the picture on the right you would see that if you want to have a, or if you want to machine really long bores in a part in main and sub spin at the same time you have a limitation that you would uh, have interference with, with both uh, tool holders. Whereas if you lower the sub spindle and you machine with the displaced spindles, you would be able to, to machine long parts with long tools, which again opens the range of parts that can be done in this machine. So these are the main functionalities that we can get uh, with our, our latest design in the TTL. So we think that uh, everything, well, we think, no, we know everything has been in, implemented in the spread, so everything would be able to be seen in the, in the simulation. And the last advantage that I want to, to present in the TTL compared, what, compared to the products that we have before is that this uh, machine can be fully automated. So if you work with a bar feeder, you could have a bar feeder and a, parse, a pneumatic parse catcher, similar to what we have in the in the TTL, but also we have uh, implemented the gantry robot in the machine. So if you are working with shafts or with uh, casting components or with billets, you will have the same solution that we offer in the TA and TD range. So I think it's very good for, as I said at the beginning, for high production markets. So. These are the, the main advantages that we, we have in the TTL and, and we think are going to make a, a great competition in the, in the high production industry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, I know we're working together since uh, I think five and six years. Also, mm -hmm. you were uh, one of the few machine tool companies that started already a few years ago to uh, be closer to the software. And you know, in the last few years, so we had Industry 4.0 that is, let me say, forcing hardware and software to work uh, closer. Mm -hmm. And um, so we are working together since few years. Could you tell us, uh, our client and prospect, uh, what are the advantages of using Esprit and in which way our partnership uh, is um, is going? Yeah, of course. So to give you an idea of how we work in in this kind of projects. Uh, in the TTL, what we did is, okay, we know we have a new machine, we know it's, it's very difficult to program because we have three parts in the machine, we understand that the customers can get a little bit confused with so many channels, so we asked the Spirit team to come over to our, our headquarters, we presented them uh, the machine, we, we explained all the functionalities that we needed to have in, in the software, 
that had to be developed by Sprit. A few months later, we, we got the EMS model, so we got the movements that we needed in the, in the CAM software. Then together with the people in the application team, we validated we uh, and we validated all the all the functionality, so we saw that what the machine was doing and what the what the simulation was doing is the same. And once we know that the movements are fine, we started to work with the Sprit uh, post-processor team to have a validated post-processor by us. So we have been working for several months into having the the correct output in the in the program. We validated those those post-processors. Wow. And now what we do is, is we have a collaboration together with Sprit. So when we sell the machine, we can offer a great deal to, to have the machine plus the, plus the Sprit software as a very good deal for in terms of price and in terms of uh, help for, um, from Sprit. And we are very sure that this uh, is going to work. We don't know what other CAM, manufact CAM distributors are doing because we don't have such a, such a close collaboration with them. So we know that the speed works. We we use the speed for for our studies, for our projects. So we are very confident that, that this collaboration will last in the future as well. Yeah, we are very proud to collaborate with you and to develop a, you know, a technology together that can help our customer to be more productive. Mm -hmm. um, so I think your part is finished about DTL. Uh, yeah, so, so I will. I will move to Mathieu, so he's going to explain the, the simulation part. Uh, from my side, I will present uh, what we did with CMZ and how we will program the part. And uh, um, regarding the situation, it's um, good to see that um, DP Technology First is a company that is based on the vision and passion and commitment. And it's interesting to see that CMZ has the same um, three base as we have, three pillow exactly. And thanks to the vision, passion, and commitment, we have the same objective to deliver to the world the perfect solution, as we can say, um, that could drive an uh, automation in manufacturing. What does it mean? It means that thanks to the CAM, we could have the solution to deliver um, the tool pass and uh, the G code for any kind of machine, and especially when the machines are very, very complex, such the CMZ machine, TTL. As you knew, we did a video at the beginning of the project. This project is started in uh, July, last July exactly, and we visited uh, the factory of CMZ. During this visit, we get all the information about what is the machine, its capacity, courses, etc. And after this kind of information, we started the project. The first thing was to get some data, to get the machine models, etc. And our technical teams were working on it. The video presents all the several functions of the machine and what the machine is able to do. And in the meantime, we do the same with the Spirit to drive the, it as a program and simulation. You could see also how the machine is complex. We spoke about superimpose, we spoke about tail stock, we saw, spoke about um, uh, long part in interferences, and also the capacity to work with a part catcher or a gantry. In, in this kind of uh, situation, Esprit has the solution to help any kind of people that is going to buy this, this machine TTL. And as I know I said, there is in this machine three turrets, and all these three turrets could have several moves, but it's interesting to know that the last turret is also the spindle, sub-spindle. And this sub-spindle could go in the X and Z moves to generate a Y, a y uh, move axis. So the CAM is the solution to drive this machine, and Esprit, in that case, is the right choice. To remind this, as I told you, we visited CMZ, and we tried to deliver a global solution for the workshop. So after the visit, our technical team created the EMS files and validated thanks to the functionalities and the technical CMZ team sent to us. Once the functionalities were validated, we created the post processor. And the post processor was created by our post development team and especially thanks to Michael Shear. And Ainoa, from our side, get the information from Michael 
and try to check and verify. And after the, 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 the cooperation between the both services, we could, uh, we are proud to say to you that we have now um, the machine uh, CMZ and our TTL DMP. And that's run. Okay, we did the machine model for sure. But um, to do that, we need to get all the information. And when we have it inside our DMP system, if you load the machine model, then you could have also all the turret or the tool holder. So coming from the library of uh, CMZ uh, uh, data, and you can load this uh, turret uh, holder into the, your turret, upper turret or uh, sub turret, uh, lower turret exactly. And on the sub spindle, you can load also the test stock because the test stock could be um, uh, customized. And at least we had also the post processor, G code and the driver that could drive channel one, channel two, and channel three. Let's come back to now the, the technical side, superimposed driven, which is the first and very interesting capacity. Superimposed driven is the capacity to drive three tools that will cut together, okay? In this example I will show you, you could see that the upper turret works on the main spindle and the lower turret could work on the main and sub spindle at the same time. Let's see that. So, the, you know, the Esprit, you have the project manager and your program is done here. And during the machining that you could see here, this is exactly the superimposed. So we have here balance cutting machining. At one moment, here yeah, you could see that we can do the proof, do an, an external turning, and before we could do a drill on the sub spindle and a drill on the main spindle. What about the test stock? Test stock interest is that the test stock engage on the main spindle, the upper turret works on the main spindle, the lower turret works on the sub spindle. But it's not only that, you can do also. You can do also the same things with uh, the lower turret who works on the main spindle. In the, in the example here, so you see, we call the tail stock. The tail stock is loaded. And then at this moment, we can work on the long bar, we can do a simultaneous operation on the main spindle and on the sub spindle with the upper turret and the lower turret. I just show you also the, the threading that we can drive and could see exactly the real effect. What is the interest? Interest is that thanks to long bar and thanks to the tail stock, we have the capacity instead of the awesome machine tool, we have the capacity to continue to work on the sub spindle. So this is completely new and this is driven by a spring. Now, reduction of inter uh, and interferences for long parts. What does it mean? It means that uh, when you have a long part and you have a long tool like a drill or uh, um, uh, say that you want to, do, to drive and uh, to uh, cut internally uh, the, the diameter, you could have some collision thanks to the turret, the tools, the sub spindle and the main spindle. Here with this, uh, this machine and with Esprit, we could park the sub uh, spindle to have the capacity to do the operation on the main spindle. Okay, so we have here the spinning the machining milling operation that we can do also. And when the operation of the milling is finished, we will need to drill on the, this face. And you know, at the main time, we call the, the tail stock to come. We we have the um, sorry. We we have the the capacity to uh, to uh, to drill to use long tool. Uh, I know that it's a uh, it's a video and on the video it's um, quite easy to see. But trust me that we can drive it perfectly. And the Esprit file that we have is uh, running well for that. The last point is the part catcher and the gun free robots. The part catcher, as you could see on the picture, is the capacity to um, get the, um, the part from when you eject it, and you can drive the part catcher as it is in the machine. Why do we do that? It's because 
um, again, this machine is a, it's a small machine, by the way, with a lot of uh, elements inside, like uh, batterettes, uh, lower turrets, main spindle, sub spindle. And when you want to, uh, to eject the part and you load the part catcher, it's like um, working in the, in, in the night, so you don't see uh, what should happen. But with the spray, we have the capacity to drive the part catcher and load it and see if there is any kind of interferences, collision, and else. The country robots is in project to be driven also to have the capacity to uh, get the parts and drive the, um, the robots to keep the parts. Now, it's not only uh, on the machining and the process, we have other things to, for you. We can have time study, Excel reports, and DMP certified. These three tools, time study, Excel report, and uh, DMP, are the condition to be very, very um, successful in your process and be productive also. In this example, we load the Excel report. You can select any kind of information. You can set up instruction. You can also generate some barcode for your shop floor. And when you have everything, you validate, and you will have an Excel sheet or a PDF sheet with the, that resume all the operation you did in Esprit, all the tools you are using, all the information on the tool and the operation and the time, okay, the cutting time by tools. You have a resume of all the operation and you have also all the pages like the setup or the barcode if you activated the barcode. Now, there is also, you see, thanks to the time study, you could see here, you have also the capacity to drive the time study directly on Esprit. On the project manager, just go and do a right click on your operation table, activate the time study, and then you could see the load by turret, or by head, sorry. So here, yeah, you could see that when I select an operation, I could see in my uh, um, uh, uh, project manager, the operation that are selected. And I could see also all the time by turret. At the end, programming Esprit is it's nice. Also, we would want is to generate G-code. Thanks to the DMP, we could go to our own Esprit web page, go to download the information from the TTL. To, currently, we have two machines that are already ready, the diameter 52 and diameter 66, corresponding to the, the bar model that we want to, to drive. You just have to select and download the elements uh, from uh, the Esprit website. You will receive a zip file, get the post processor, load it into your program, and then generate the G code. Okay, on the setting, you just have to log all the, pro, the pro, post processor, okay, like this. And then generate, okay, and okay, please set up, okay, and that's it. Then you have the G code by channel. So you have the channel two on the right, so you just have to, uh, to re <laughs> reorient the, your, your G code. But you can see that the, the G code is running automatically. So that's that's all from my side. The Esprit file is uh, available and uh, it's a demo part that we can share for all our partners currently today. The post processor is uh, still in uh, progress to perform, as I told you about uh, the um, the country uh, robots and some uh, other uh, potential specification. But uh, today we are ready and uh, we are very happy to say to you that we can go on the TTL with CMZ. Thank you. Thank you, Mathieu, for your presentation. I think we saw a lot of very interesting things, uh, technically, from a micro point of view with the TTL and also from a software point of view. This type of machine are really complicated, so uh, the goal that we have in mind is really to use at 100% all the capabilities of this type of machine. And to do that, we want also to keep uh, the machine under a safety environment. And uh, as you saw, we have the complete uh, virtual environment with the solid model of machine that allow us uh, to prevent any kind of collision and to verify everything before going uh, live on the machine. So thank you, everybody, and hope to see you soon in another webinar.